everyone welcome to my channel if you're new here hi I'm Kay and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the March edition of Glossy Box so if you already know everything there is to know about this box and you just want to skip ahead to the items inside then as usual I'm going to leave a timestamp in the comments down below so you can just skip ahead but if you want to know a little bit more about this box I'm going to give a brief little description here but I will also leave some more detailed information in the description box down below so you can check that out at your own leisure. So Glossy Box is a monthly beauty subscription service. It costs £13.25 per month but that's on a one month rolling subscription. But they do offer different types of subscription and that can reduce the cost of the box. For instance I have a 12 month rolling subscription with them and that means that my boxes cost me £11.75 per month so it just brings the cost down a little bit. They do also offer some pay up front options as well so I think that's 3, 6 and 12 months you can pay up front for um, and again that will cost you a little bit less than the pay monthly option. Inside the box you'll find five beauty related items ranging from deluxe all the way up to full size and that can be anything from makeup to skincare, hair care, beauty tools, that kind of thing. And the total value of the box is usually around the £50 mark although sometimes it's a little bit more. When you take the lid off this is what we look like inside. So we've got a little card here and then the items are wrapped up in tissue paper underneath. So the card just tells us everything we need to know about the box, it tells us about the theme of the edit and it tells us all about the items inside, so the RRPs, how to use them, things like that. On the back of the card there's usually a sneak peek for an item in next month's box and this month is no exception. So if you don't want to know what the sneak peek is, again I'm going to put a timestamp in the comments below so you can skip past this little section here, but if you do want to know what the sneak peek is, it is from Sophia and Maybelle and it's going to be an eyeshadow palette apparently. Don't know anything about that brand but it just says next month we're boxing up the very best of spring. The fresh morning air, the birds singing amongst the blossom, you'll find that very feeling inside our April woke up in spring glossy box. Inside this box you'll also discover a gorgeous eyeshadow palette from new brand Sophia and Maybelle. That's probably why I've never heard of them then, it's a new brand. So yeah, so that sounds exciting. So the theme of this month's box is Pretty Pleasures. Um, let's just see what the note says about it. Hi hey Glossies, this time of year is by far the prettiest. The days are getting warmer and flowers are beginning to bloom. Everywhere you look, there's an array of beautiful pastel colours and that includes in this month's box. Not only will the products inside this box make you look and feel fabulous, they'll also look, per mm. they'll also look perfectly pleasing sitting on your bathroom shelf. So that sounds quite nice. So without further ado, let's get into what we've got in the box. So this is what we're looking like. The little wormies here have got a bit squished down the bottom but all the items are up here and I'm going to start off with the item that I know is the sneak peek from last month's card so that is a mascara from Beautonique Beauty and it's the nourishing mascara so it says it's a volumizing mascara enriched with almond oil and camellia oil so that sounds quite interesting um, I'm not going to open it because I do have quite a lot of mascaras that I'm trying to get through at the moment I don't want to really have more than one open at a time um, so we'll just read what the card says so the RRP on this is £15.50 intensely volumizing this nourishing mascara thickens, lengthens and adds curls for bigger, fuller looking lashes Rich in conditioning ingredients including camellia and almond oil, this mascara also works to strengthen and maximise the length of your lashes. The oversized brush is designed to grip and coat each and every lash from root to tip. That sounds okay, but I hate large brushes. So the fact that it's claiming that an oversized brush is a, is a good thing makes me a little bit worried so we'll have to see how that goes but as I said I'm not going to get around to it probably anytime soon but um, I'll give it a go when I do get around to it. Okay so the next thing is something that I've actually used today 
so this is the Sorico complexion sponge we had one of these in a look fantastic box a little while ago I think um, and I've used it for the first time today which was a nice little coincidence there um, I really like this sponge it's very soft which I do enjoy can't stand it when brushes are just so firm you feel like you're punching yourself in the face but this one is just really soft and squidgy it's it's quite soft um before you um dampen it but then once it's damp it obviously gets a little bit bigger and it's just so soft it just feels so nice applying your foundation so i'm really happy to have this can never have too many sponges so the rrp on this is six pounds so Eco's complexion sponge evenly blends makeup for a flawless enhanced finish. Ultra soft, flake resistant and long lasting, this sponge works both damp and dry, expanding with water to make blending effortless. Perfect for all face makeup, a pointed tip is ideal for concealer and smaller areas around the eye, whilst the sides are designed for applying foundation and blush. So Eco also does its bit for the environment, planting one tree for every 100 products sold. So that's really nice as well. So I'm happy that that's in here. Um, I'm going to use it. I'm happy with that item. So next we've got a nail polish from Nails Inc. And this is in the shade Palace Gardens. Um, I've got to say I actually quite like that shade of blue it's a little bit different to what you'd normally expect to find normally you get pinks and reds and things like that but I don't hate that that is that colour it's quite interesting not that I do a lot with my nails usually but uh, occasionally the mood takes me and uh, I won't be averse to trying this so this is a full size item, oh I should mention as well the last two items have been full size items as well. So the RRP on this is £11. This super glossy, long lasting, intense colour will look perfectly pretty on your nails. This polish also has a new expertly designed brush which is exclusive to Nails Inc. And this ensures your polish is applied easily and will always create a flawless finish. I'm intrigued by the sound of that brush have a look Come on. I don't really see that that's too different to a lot of nail polish brushes to be honest so I don't really know what's exclusive about it um, if I find out I'll let you know but yeah I'm not unhappy to have that in here um, it's, it's just a really interesting colour it's like a grey blue keen to give that a go it's definitely in keeping with the um, spring theme, that's for sure. So next we've got something from Figs and Rouge. Okay, so this is the Satin Soft Blurring Primer and Finishing Fix. Finishing Fix? Okay, so it's... A, okay, I think I'm going to have to read the card because finishing to me means after your makeup's done. But this is a primer. Okay, so again, this is a full size product, and the RRP on this is £38. Designed to blur and minimise shine, this wonder working primer will keep your skin fresh and flawless. With unique pore minimising and anti blemish properties, skin impurities and breakouts are also reduced. Key ingredients include hyaluronic acid, which perfectly plumps and maintains moisture, as well as marshmallow root and arctic cloudberry extracts, which keep skin energised. Um, let's just see. Oh, okay. So on the back here, it just says, Satin Soft Blurring Primer fixes foundation and finishes complexion for complete matte perfection. So when it says a finishing fix, it just means it holds your foundation in place which is what a primer is supposed to do so I think that description on the front there is a bit redundant but that's just me um, but yeah um, I've got quite a lot of primers at, at the moment so I don't know how quickly I'm going to get around to this but um, I have tried a primer from Figs and Rouge before wasn't that impressed um, but this sounds like it's a little bit different so I'm definitely willing to give it a try. And then next we've got a pencil product from NYX. 
so I'm not sure what this is is it a lip liner maybe yes it is so so it's the slide on glide on stay on and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme color lip liner and then in brackets it says this lip liner is so good the name had to be this long but this is in the shade cheeky insolent um looking at the outer packaging here i uh I actually quite like this. I'm just going to get into it and have a look. Take it out of its uh, little plastic prison here. I hate these things so much. I don't know why they need to do this. So this is what that looks like there. We'll just try it here. Do it so I can see it. There we go. I actually quite like that colour. Um, pink lipstick is something that I tend to gravitate towards as more of it's it's more my neutral shade. Um, so having a pink lip liner, I'm definitely happy with. It's not necessarily the shade of pink that I would normally wear, but when I did my lipstick collection and day cutter um, last month last month yes last month um i did find a few pink lipsticks in there that i thought i need to give those more of a try so maybe i can use them in conjunction with this so that's nice so this is a lucky dip item so uh, we could have received from the looks of it anything from nyx so you could have received a full size item or a deluxe size item i think this is a full size item um and the rrp just says from four pounds so i'll have to have a, a little look to see if i can find out what the price of this specific item is um but it just says we know glosses love their monthly boxes being a surprise so we're sure you're going to love a lucky dip from nyx professional makeup it could be a product for your lips maybe the popular lip lingerie liquid lipstick or for your face we love the away we glow highlighter simply open up your glossy box to find out so i got a lip liner i don't hate it so i'm quite i'm quite happy with that um would i have preferred a lipstick probably not to be honest i've i've got quite a lot of lipsticks um lip liners is something i have less of although i probably still have more than i need um but yeah I'm, I'm okay with that I'm good with that so that was the final item from this month's box quick little recap we had the Beautynique Beauty Nourishing Mascara we had the So Eco Makeup Blending Sponge we had the Nails Ink Nail Polish in Palace Gardens we had the Figs and Rouge Satin Soft Blurring Primer and the NYX Lip Liner so overall what do i think of this month's box so if you're not new to my channel you'll know that this past 12 months i've not been thrilled with glossy box um there's been a fair amount of issues going on not just with me but i've seen it with other subscribers as well um so i've been keeping my eye on things just to see if things are improving any and i had said that if i wasn't happy that they were trying to make an effort by this month then this would be my last box i think i'm gonna stick it out for a little while the last couple of boxes whilst they haven't been amazing um or for me at least they haven't felt like they've been amazing um i can sit i have seen a little bit of a difference Plastic gua sha was a bit of a miss, let's be honest. But I have actually noticed a difference in the way they're handling things online as well. So particularly on Instagram, quite a lot of what I've seen over the last 12 months has been people having issues and them just giving a stock standard, hi glosses, pop us a DM. Um, whereas over the last few weeks especially, I've noticed they've been a bit more specific with their answers um they've sort of spoken to the person they've sort of addressed the person as though you know they're an actual customer rather than just hi glossy um it's been like oh no you know 
please let us know more about this issue we want to make this right um so i kind of want to give them the benefit of the doubt at the moment i'm i'm really willing them to do better this year than they did last year so hopefully that will happen and based on this month's box as well i'm, I'm quite happy with this month's box um i'm i'm willing to stick it out for just that little bit longer so we'll see how it goes obviously if things change or i change my mind i'll let you know but um but yeah so happy er <laughs> definitely happier but uh, for now that is it from me so now it's over to you guys what did you think of this month's box are you a subscriber to Glossy Box? If so, what did you get? Which NYX products did you get? If you're not already subscribed to this box, is what you've seen today something that has maybe tempted you to subscribe? Just let me know in the comments down below. I'm always interested to hear other people's thoughts and opinions. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you could hit that thumbs up button for me. It really helps me out and lets me know that you're enjoying my content. If you're not already subscribed to my channel but you think you'd like to catch up with me more often then I'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button too. It's totally free and would help you to find me more easily in future. And with all of that being said I really do hope everyone's well and staying safe and I will see you all again in another video very very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.